What's going on, Oops? Yep, it's me, Oh, I am. Listen, today I'm gonna have a freaking rant. And you know, usually I give my opinions on things, but this is gonna be a freaking rant. And it's going to be a rant at Virgin Media. I, I've gone through certain service providers in order to have great internet connection, you know, they will make promises and whatnot, as you would know. Virgin, I went with because they don't force you to have a phone line, so that was a great thing. However, the service was dismal, and that's using it really, really lightly. Not only was the service constantly intermittent, and running a business from home, if I'm not in an office or whatever, I, I need that connection. And it was always cutting off. Couldn't connect, it's turn off, reset. I'm sure quite a few of you are used to this. It just got to the point I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I called them up and I acquired, um, inquired about actually cancelling my service and then was told, oh, you have to give us a chance to resolve the issue. If the issue is resolved, happy days. If it's not resolved, then you could cancel with no charge. Hear that? Cancel with no charge. By law, if you're not getting the service you're paying for anyway, yep, they're meant to cancel it with no charge. Someone came out, fixed the problem. <laughs> Happy days. And then within an hour, yeah, within a freaking hour, within an hour, the service was back down again. And so I ring them up. Okay, let's try to put you onto a different band or whatever they call it. I was like, fine, that didn't resolve my problem. So I finally had enough, rang them up to cancel and spoke to some guy who was quite rude. I don't want to put his name out there, Brian. <clears throat> anyway, not his surname. <laughs> but he was quite rude. I asked to speak to a manager because I have an issue. This dude actually said to me, no, outright. No, one of those, which part do you not understand, the N or the O? I was like, really? As a customer who's paying you 50 quid a month for your service that doesn't even work, I thought that was absolutely poor. Not only that, he proceeded to call me a liar and said that no one told me that the service would be cancelled free of charge, even though, yes, they did, Judy. Yeah, you did. And you know what? This guy basically said, well, right, we'll cancel it. Cancellation charges will apply. You're not going to speak to a manager. End of the call. Wow. Now, when you do ring up, they do tell you these calls may be recorded. They usually are. I wrote my complaint letter, got a letter back. They said they're investigating the issue. blah de blah de blah I didn't hear nothing back. Next minute, Virgin are sending me bills upon bills, and then even sent it to a debt collector. I don't mind paying your £78 if I even had a £78 service. I had a £50 service. The, can the complaint letter that I wrote, again, it's been addressed once and the person said that they're investigating, they'll let me know. I didn't hear nothing back. Someone's put that they, when I called them, someone said they gave me a call, but no you didn't. And if you call me, it goes to voicemail. Needless to say, I ended up paying it because I don't want bad credit, although they've already defaulted on my um, credit profile, which is quite annoying. You know, I tend to pay things on time, I tend to pay everything off. And these people went and buggered me up due to their poor communication, their bad service, and extremely bad customer service as well. When you go with a business or brand you expect good service. This is why you do it. You might have heard it from word of mouth and so forth. I can honestly say Virgin, Act, Virgin Active, Virgin Media, you suck. Your service sucks. After six o'clock, it sucks. And that's 6 p.m. gremlin time, yeah? It sucks, absolutely sucks. So do you know what I had to say? You're all leeching off BT Infinity anyway, so I went with BT and guess what? My service has been absolutely flawless. So Virgin Media, 
that's to you. Hopefully, no other person is going to suffer this, but sadly, I know they will. Opie's, I'm... Opie's, you like and express your thoughts.